based on a belief or demonstrate belief don't say that word belief they don't like that word you, th you think it's based on the belief but it's based on observable evidence then this observable you can do it with your own eyes my friend i can yes yes you can what what observation uh well what i had stated before about the southern celestial pole and okay so let me ask you a question what do you what do you think is is above us like do you think it's a there's a dome the sky. like what do you what do you think it is some that, people that some people like to think that they're living on a spinning ball so okay they, thank like, you go to sleep at night that's what they think Yeah, but a lot of the no. things. Oh. <laughs> I like the globe bingo. That's funny. Uh, I forgot to put South Celestial Pole, Southern Celestial Poles on it. You just reminded me. But yeah, these are the common uh, go-to uh, answers when you guys don't really have an answer. You just said it. You can do it yourself. It's, fun it's funny because the common you said, answer you said, from you flat said earthers you is NASA lies, blah, blah, blah. You said you can do it yourself, right? Yeah. So if that, you're in the northern, if you're in the northern that's, hemisphere, uh, you that's can. That's on the you second can, row of the bingo card. You can do you it. Could, um. Yeah, but the fact that you put a, you made a, you fact the fact that you made a meme about it doesn't mean that it's not true. So if you're in the northern hemisphere and in even part of the southern hemisphere up to a certain degrees of uh of latitude you can you can see the the you know the the northern celestial pole and then you know on on the contrary in the southern hemisphere you can see the southern celestial pole and at the equator you can see both and you know roughly a couple of degrees of of um latitude either way um th these are things that anybody can observe you can you can do it yourself, not to patronize your your bingo card, but <laughs> you you you, you literally can do it yourself. And mm -hmm. and I've done it I've done it myself. There are many videos showing the same thing. Um, so I mean, th I mean that's that's just one thing. I mean, and then you have the Coriolis and Netfos effects, which are apparent and measurable. Um, you also have um things like all of the and, and i love i love invoking nasa because you people just love it when people talk about nasa but this isn't this doesn't have anything to do with nasa because there's other you know there's 71 space agencies or whatever it is that that do all this shit there's all the non-composite images of earth um from satellites including live feeds from several of them um i know you love to quote the the one you know, whoever it was from nasa that says that it's CGI because it has to be, but it's because there it was a composite, and and that's just what he what he did. Um, there's a reason for it. It it, it makes sense, and whatever. Um, On a serious note, though. <clears throat> okay, so let let's try again. What evidence do you have that the Earth is a ball? What evidence? Uh, do do I need to repeat myself? I mean. No, no, not not what the model says, but what you. I've I've experienced these things myself. I mean, I, I do you, do you not? Okay, so so here's 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 okay. This is why I asked the question. What do you what do you think is, what do you think comprises the stars? Like, what is your substitution for what's above us? Like, what do you think is is there? The what stars is... are just lights in the sky. Okay, and and what's your proposition for how they move? What is what is? Do they move about the the northern pole, or how how do they how do they function? Like what what do they do? Go around the um, the northern pole, like you said, yeah. Okay, so if, well, that, that's what they, I mean, I've been checking that out. Yeah, but hold on, I'm just that's just what we're told. I don't know that for a fact, right? 
Okay, so so here's the thing: if if things are rotating, if stars are rotating about the the northern pole, as as is asserted that the sun rotates about the northern pole, we have a humongous uh, azimuthal discrepancy about where the the sun and stars rise and set between what we experience and what the flat Earth model, the prevalent flat Earth model, would dictate, because. If you know, if we're if we're assuming everything rotates about the northern pole and the Earth is flat, everything moves in more or less a disc in three hundred and sixty degrees, right? So you think you came from a monkey? So if you're, I'm just going to ignore that because it's meaningless. So if you're, let's say you reside on the equator, and you have twelve hours of daylight and twelve hours of sunlight, the sun would be rising at. What do you think? Roughly forty-five degrees northeast, wouldn't it? Is this what you it were would. taught in school? No, th- no. This is what the flat Earth model dictates would happen if the Earth is flat. Flat Earth model. There is no flat Earth model, but this is the prevalent flat Earth belief. Oh, so what can we prove? How are we going to prove what's going on? Well, that's Let's a very good, that's together. a very good question because everything that that. Uh, is proposed by the flat earths and uh, flat earthers and and their consensus or if you can even call it that would dictate that there is the that where the sun rises and sunsets is not what we experience so wh- what, say... how, do, how, do, where, how do you how do you how do you propose the sun moves because if like i said if you reside on the equator Using the geometry. Well, nurse, proposed, why don't you you just use, told us the answer? Why don't you just provide the evidence for your answer? I mean, no one's yeah. disagreeing what you're saying. You're saying the stars do this and the Earth does that. Okay, let's let's have a what look. What I'm what I'm saying is geometrically, if the Earth is flat, and mm. and what you what you, your own words, you said everything revolves around the North Pole. That's yeah, what you that's, said. I'm taking a guess. Okay. Well, well you're great. It's a it's a guess. Which is funny because flat earthers have absolutely no consensus whatsoever on anything because the belief is clearly false. What about the globe but, Earth then? What can we but, prove so, about so, the so, what you What you said is that everything revolves around the North Pole. I guess. Right? I guess so. But but that is so that's that your guess is your assertion, right? Right. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, so taking your assertion or your guess or whatever you want to call it. If you reside on the equator, do you disagree with me that if you reside on the equator, given that there's 12 hours of sunlight and, and 12 hours of, of dark, darkness, nighttime, that the Earth would, in fact, rise at 45 degrees northeast? Why would I agree with that? That's what geometry would dictate. But you don't have geometry. What do you mean you don't have geometry? Well, what, geometry, what... Exists, geometry exists regardless of whether the Earth is flat or a sphere. Yeah, but I mean, you don't have geometry to make measurements <clears throat> within the real world. Um, you're going to have to expound on that because that literally makes no sense. Have you ever seen geometry being used out in the real world? Holy shit. Oh, like, yes, all the time. Geometry is literally like the science of measurement. Okay. Let's have a look at how geometry is used. I, 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 I can't continue this conversation because you're very evidently a po. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. You're talking about things that you don't know how to explain. That's not my problem. What's a pole? You're just guessing, like I guessed about uh, how, the stars. How, how am I guessing when I'm using geometry to... to... Yeah, but you're guessing. <clears throat> I'm saying to I'm, demonstrate No, I'm not the one who's be... guessing. You're the one who's guessing. You're the one who says... Okay, if you're not guess. guessing, show me how you know this in the real world. Geometry is the real world. Okay, can you apply it in I mean, the real world and let's take a look? That's what that's what we're doing. I'm t- that's I'm that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm talking about what your assertion is and what geometry dictates where the sun would rise and set, and then I'm comparing it to what our observations are. This is the the real life application of geometry. Yeah, that's a model. No, it's not a model. It's a real life application so of who's geometry. Who's been out there in the real world and done this? What you're talking about? Dude, okay, so where do you see the sunrise and set? Who's doing what you, you, if you were, who's if doing? I'm, I'm asking you specifically. You, I'm, I want your yeah, observation. You're asking me to answer about your guess. No, this is not about my guess. I'm asking you to give me your experience. Where is Where does the sunrise and set 
based on your experience. Are we not on the globe now? And, 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 no, but in real life, where does it rise and set for you? What, what do you see? Where do you, you see it rise and uh, set? Different, different observations, different days, depending on the weather. Okay. Uh, it's, I mean, it, you're not wrong entirely. And it's also dependent on the season. But, but do you ever see it rise and set? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you probably don't live at the equator. You live somewhere. Why do you care about the sun? But look, again, you're guessing now. That's, that's the point. That's not, why you I'm don't not, know anything. I'm that's not, why you're saying, oh, well, you're a pro. You're not being serious. Well, I'm you were being serious. About you anything. would explain what you're talking about. I'm not guessing about anything. Okay, I'm so you said examining, geometry, I'm examining geometry is a, a, applicable I'm a, in the real I world. I am yeah? examining a, an assertion you made using geometry. Okay, so <laughs> has anyone been outside and applied? Have you been used... outside and looked at the sun rise and set? I guarantee you have. Has anyone that you know of been outside and used geometry in the real world? So <laughs> yes. the Earth, the Moon. Yes. Okay, let's take a look. That's what we're talking my about. Came out. Because, okay, mm -hmm. since I don't have a video ready, that means that my argument's false. Okay, I get it. All right. So we're going to play that game. So you're just All guessing right. for cool. the moment. We just have to believe. No, you. no, I'm not, I'm not just guessing for the moment. You can do these observations yourself. This is very simple. Yeah, well, when, when you, I'm when telling you, you that when you wake up in the morning, geometry can be applied up in, the morning, out in the real world. Okay, I, just, I, I used told. to have to deal with pointing one dish at another, and that would inc you know, involve geometry of, of getting the dish in the right spot, so it's pointing at the next one. It's, I mean, I can't go out there. Why guys hate so, I've just said I can't go out there. Use that geometry. One, uh, yeah, I, I did it in my job for years. Yeah, okay. Actually, it, it was quite reliant on having the towers pointed at a certain angle sometimes. It's okay. kind of weird. Mr. Moss you North. Guys are yeah, hiding. I came Mr. Moss One real life application. The earth, north, everywhere. They're just hiding everywhere. So, Dresden, look, you were saying geometry can be applied out in the real world. And I'm asking you, has anyone ever done this in the real yes. world? Yes. Can you have a look yes. at this? Yes. yes. Okay, well, this who? Is, you don't have to post this. Been, been, give me, give me, give me. Do you want? Do you want me to link you? Uh, do you want me to find you a link? No, I'll, I'll find it. Just tell me the name or the company oh, or the video. God. I'll look for it. Just tell me where I can find somebody using phone geometry tower, okay, in mate. the real world. Any phone tower you want. What should I uh, type in? Make make sure it's got a few dishes on it though. What should I type in, Dresden? Me came on all bad. Jesus Christ! This, this, is, this is just the, this. This is just the pedantic bullshit that I yeah, love to deal is. with it's, with this, all this flat earthers. This is like <laughs> if, if, this really, if this is really if this is really right. So this, is, if this is, is me or argue, is it you? You you're the one that was kicked out twenty four seven. So they were asking the same questions. 20, I was no. They were asking I was the same out questions to explain or demonstrate, and then you were saying, "Oh well, all of you flat earthers oppose." Does it hurt your feelings? Because you, you, you were being the, asked to provide you evidence the same for your claim. They, it's because you do the same arguments they do, and they don't like hearing anybody talk about. Yeah, but you're the one that's you're the one that's ad hominem making the claims about geometry being used in the real world. I've said, "Okay, so, if that's true." So, you're ever talking yeah, to me as well. You're funding me to me, not letting me speak. So when I asked you, okay, fine, I agree with you. You're saying somebody uses geometry in the real world. Where can we see that? I love how he ignores go look at a phone tower with heap of dishes on it. Dude, this is just... I mean, it, you were just yeah, exemplifying the, the, the perfect flat earth argument in general. It, it's... It's just, this is just amazing. And we're seeing classic globe earth uh, rhetoric and nonsense here, aren't you we? You asked for a it's real so, so it's world it's funny, it's funny because... Oh, I oh know, yeah, I've hang been hang to hang the hang ice on. wall and I've measured the ice wall, but you can go and do it yourself. Oh, yeah, I've measured the dome, I've been to the dome, but you can go and do it yourself, Dresden. You see, I've been into the flat earth, saw the other side, but you can do it yourself. That's just nonsense. That's not how you would have a conversation. Just make up things and guess. Right? If I said I've been to the ice wall, you would demand a video of me going to the ice wall measuring it right now. You say, where? No, Show me the ice wall. I would, I would know you're lying. I wouldn't demand a video of it because I know you're lying. But if I said <laughs> I've been there, I've got the footage of it, you would say, let me see it. Well, if you have the footage, let me see it. There you go. So instead of me just guessing, but but I, here's the thing: I don't claim to have been to the ice wall, and, and but you claim like, that there's this, geometry this, out this, in the real this world. This is the difference. The difference is you can literally wake up and look at the sunrise, and you can look at the sunset okay, and do this so stuff can you for yourself. Apply geometry to but you're, it? you're 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 you're. 
You can too, but you don't know geometry because well, you you're can go to the ice wall too. Then, so if this is going to be the level of your argument, you oh, can go man. to the ice this wall. This is just this is lovely. This is lovely. This is this do, do is you wanna, classic. Do you want to talk, talk about thermo, you, you want to talk about thermodynamics? And, no, and, I want to talk about the geometry instead. that you said is out in the real world. Well, you don't think geometry is real, so what, what, where do, do we have to go from you this? You do. So obviously someone has applied it in the real you, world. You literally, you literally don't think geometry is, exists. So where do we have geometry to go from Geometry exists, here? but not your geometry in the real world. You can't calculate the distance to the sun, the moon, the earth, how big the earth is, to the horizon, to so, the stars. This stuff has been presented to you several times. I'm not going to rehash it. It's, there's, it's pointless. Well, that's, that's my point. Is that you just guessed your way no, through the, this? No, the point, the, point, the point is that you've already been shown this stuff, and you choose to ignore it, and you choose okay, to deny it. Yeah, but I was asking that's about you. Difference. How do you know? Other people have tried to show how they know, but what about you? Have you just because I don't, you just parroting because what you were told? I do not, because I do not deny the science that is legitimate. So you're just parroting what you, you were deny. told? No, I don't parrot. So how do you expect to have a discussion if you're just parroting what you were told? You you are literally parroting what you're told that that NASA lies and that I haven't said any of that to you. I haven't said NASA lies. No, I haven't is, denied is, any of your sites. I haven't denied any of your measurements. I've asked you, you are, to show you, me. You're literally you're literally denying the legitimacy of geometry at its basic form. I'm asking you to demonstrate these claims. Do you want me to draw you a fucking diagram? I don't know what, I, what, you, what exactly you want to do. What... It's your claim. How are you going to go this about just, providing evidence? This is just for it? absolutely ridiculous. Do you not have? Do you not have the spatial intelligence to see what the uh, what I'm describing and and understand the argument that I'm trying to make? Apparently, you don't. I can um, imagine it. Which, yeah, which for isn't sure. surprising can, that, that because can, uh, there's can be lack imagined. of basic intelligence required to understand. I can this imagine thing. it. Yeah, not, well, a, not, not a problem not to imagine it. To yeah, but is it in the imagination or is it in the real world? It's in the real world. Okay, because, so who's been doing this in the real he, world? So, so, he, so, dude, dude. I, I, honestly, this is just this is just the most bizarre conversation I've ever had about this. Okay, let's even try again. Who Thompson's has bill. done this in the real world? Everybody uh -oh. has done this. Everybody in the real has world. done this. Okay, provide one Everybody. person who has done this oh, in the real world. If you have you he looked lies, outside, have you looked outside and seen the sun rising at forty-five degrees? Azimuth. All right, no, can you, you have show not. somebody measuring 45 degrees azimuth? This is just, this is just astounding. I, the, I, <laughs> I love it. It's hilarious. How do you know that you angle? Seem, you do seem to be right? making it easy for him, dude. It's like you've, you know, you've come into this fight unarmed. He's he's globbed onto this one argument, and and that's all he wants to do. Let's talk about this one thing. Yeah, that that's came on and well, you play the one geometry thing in... works oh, in the sorry, real world. I'm sorry, talking, Kimo. Kimo picks his, his topic of the day and just goes with it. Okay, great commentary. Dryston. Yeah, I thought so. Queen is looking for the video. <clears throat> People are looking for the evidence of what you're talking about. Are you just guessing your way well, through this you, model? Oh, I was, had to use geometry so, in my job. So it's so it's okay for for you guys to demand a video, but when when you make a claim about no the, the ice idea. wall, mm -hmm. it, sure. This yeah, if funny. I were to say to you about the ice wall, which I haven't, but if I did, then yeah, you, you have nothing to say about the ice wall because everybody knows it's bullshit. I wouldn't say anything about the ice wall because I can't back up that claim. You're darn right, you can't. Right, but can you back up your claim? <laughs> Literally, look, look at the. Oh my god, I'm I'm trying to find a picture here. Just hang on. Oh, okay. I'm trying to I, I have I have I have a photo. Just bear with me. Oh, you're just telling to look at a transmission tower. Done. Geometry. You've already done that, so I feel like I feel like saying it myself would be redundant. Yeah. And... He, well, he kind of ignored me the whole time, so as that. Well, he likes to do that. Well, so here's here's one. Let's see if I can find the other one that I like. 
I just love I love the the argument geometry doesn't exist. Sort of pedantic bullshit that I just didn't say geometry it, doesn't exist. It. I say it doesn't apply to your model to the real world. So your model doesn't match reality. Um, that's hilariously ironic. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I we like the pickle. So look, I mean, as you've heard, models are reifications. Uh, what we need is an experiment, oh, that's obviously. A, it's a reification fallacy. Oh, great. Yes. Maybe you do listen to Witsit, don't you? Well, what you what the situation is, you've been lied to. Okay, so if you oh, have yeah. evidence, I've been, go on, I've been lied give to. us a look. Yeah. That's fair. And then you'll get what we're talking about. See? How can I include the other? So if you if you look at um it's hard to see. But what do you got for us? Using the geometry of, of what's purported under the flat earth model, you'd have a thirty two degrees as a degree azimuth from South Africa, taking South Africa as an example. However, based on real data from suncalc.org, you have a roughly 65 degree azimuth on sun, sunrise. This is a, a, a huge discrepancy using geometry, which you claim cannot be applied. However, you're wrong. It can be applied. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Therefore, what do you say about the azimuthal discrepancy of the sun and of stars, etc., etc., etc.? Yeah, I'm asking you who has made these measurements, when, this, and this how. Is a, it's, a me it's a measurement based on the measurements of the Earth. Like, okay, so I, I showed you the evidence, and now you're saying, who, well, who's made these measurements? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. You said based on the measurements this is, this of, is, of this is data. This is this is literal data that we have from the sun suncalc.org. Where did you on, get your degrees from? This this information shows the azimuth angle of the sun at sunrise in South Africa. <laughs> Who's making these measurements, these angled degrees measurements? Um I did using what is understood oh, I did what is understood about where the the tropics are uh, do you, do you do you deny the location of the tropics again I'm not claiming anything do you, asking... do you do you deny the location of the tropics well they're actually supposed to be in um in an, another um zone but I don't think cap uh, what is it um, That'd be a yes. This is not a game, man. Yeah. Okay. If, I I I, I, I appreciate you stumbling over your words and and demonstrating that you have no clue what you're talking about. I will claim victory upon that that horrendous display of denial. Well, I mean, I'm not affirming or denying. <laughs> the idea is you you are you are den you're literally denying. You're stumbling over your words, trying to find the right words to deny, without coming across as a denialist. You are you're denying. The legitimacy of these data points, which are which are factual, suncalc.org is legitimate data. We know where the tropics are. This is legitimate data. And using geometry, which is a legitimate mathematical science, there's a humongous discrepancy of over 30 degrees, at least on this one point in particular. You did get him off script a little early there, Dresden. It's funny when you thing. get them off script. Yeah. They don't, they don't know what it's to do hilarious. when they're off script. I'm, si I'm just sitting here chuckling to myself. And then, and then further, if you want to talk about the location of the sun, which I uh, presume you assume is local and small, um, the, the maximum from any observable point on the Earth would be, it, it'd be roughly 10 degrees above the horizon. Um, and based on the angular limitations of the eyes, you'd be able to see 93,000 miles away um, and since the reported 
diameter of the flat Earth is less than 93,000 miles, presumably, you'd be able to see the sun because you can see the stars. Unless you think the stars are more local than the sun, which I can't imagine anybody making that claim because it's completely asinine. So, if you're going to assert that you cannot see the sun just because it's far away and because it's small and because the eye can't see that far, you're full of shit. Well, again, I'm not denying or doubting any of what you've said. I'm so you're, a flat, you're, you're, you're not a flat earther anymore. Great, good to hear it. Okay. If you want to go with that, let's go with rudder balls spinning flying through space. Who is making these measurements of degrees that you were given? I made these measurements that I gave you. I All made right. them. All right, walk me through it. Using, using geometry. Walk me through it, then, how you're going to apply what, geometry. What is, what is the diameter of the Tropic of Cancer? I have no idea. What is it? I believe it's roughly 12, 1,200 miles closer to the pole than the, than the equator is. Who's measured that? If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Who, oh, so you, you're, you're basically calling into question every cartographer that's ever lived ever, 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 no, ever, ever. I haven't denied anything. I'm asking you who is making these measurements. I don't know who in particular has made these measurements, but you are denying that these are legitimate. I you haven't are, denied anything. Jealous. I'm just asking no, you. you, you, okay. you are, you're, you're calling into question All right, something fine, that, fine. that's a concrete I haven't denied. Fact. Okay, so we don't know who. When were these measurements made? Throughout history, at various points throughout history, and they've been confirmed throughout history, like and they've when? been refined God. throughout history. Like when? Last year, ten years ago, hundred years ago, when? All the, all like the, when we put the, all the fucking up. time. All the fucking time, <laughs> they're they're confirmed. When we Every put day. the phone towers up, we use the map to figure out where. What to was the latest one then? Who made easy. the latest measurement? Oh my Oh my god, this, if this is the best, if this is the top 10 the Flat Earth has to offer, no wonder nobody believes this shit. You're so fucking lucky, dude. Well, again, I haven't denied anything you've said, I haven't made any claims, I'm going along with what you're saying, you, and you're <laughs> guessing your entire way through it. No, I'm not, how am I guessing? I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking confirmed reported data, but who and I'm applying it, geometry. I'm you. Who confirmed it? Uh, flat Earthers confirm it first of all because it's in Flat Earth literature. So do you, do you, are you are you are you? Do, oh my god! <laughs> Jaron did it with like three bits of foam and some holes through them, didn't he? Dude, <laughs> what was do you want their do you want their social do you want their social security numbers, man? I don't know that information. Fuck, what, Jaren what, did shit. You, what, what remember you Jaron did it when he held the had to have Jose hold the light up. Why do you believe everything if if we can't confirm it? Well, oh, why, why do you believe everything if you can't confirm it? I, 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 I can confirm everything. I can. I, can, I, I believe that that uh, Bob uh, picked up a fifteen degree uh, per hour too? tilt. I confirmed. Uh, I believe that no, uh, no, Jerry no, confirmed not, not the gyro, that. I mean the the geometry. Why do you believe the geometry if if no one because because I, I because I understand geometry and because I have faith in the people who've confirmed who've, ah, who've thank you. done these measurements mm -hmm. and and reconfirmed these measurements which okay. uh, consist of flat earthers in in, okay, in general that's too. <laughs> that's fine. Let's go on to the next point now then. So the Earth is spinning. I guess. No. It's not a guess. So, how, how do we know the Earth is spinning? 15 degrees an hour. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, thanks, Bob. Because we have real measurements, which are performed by Bob Nodal. Okay, what did um, Bob do? He... <laughs> did somebody kick him? Oh, he's still here. Oh, he's still Yeah, that's, that's my bad. I, I tried to cancel my stream and it just kicked me out of here. Goodness it's the wrong button. Say. Okay, so what did Bob what do? What did Bobby do? What did uh, Bobby mm -hmm. took a ring laser gyroscope and tried to isolate it from all other forces that it might experience on Earth and picked up a 15 degree per hour tilt. How did he isolate or, or all the forces? Using various Bobby things from, from a, what, what is it, a bismuth case and things like that. What other it's, forces, by the way? What other forces? What? 
I I don't purport to assume that there are other forces that are acting on a There's virus. one specific force that he did not isolate. Which was it? Gravity. Nope, 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 nope. What is under question here? What are we measuring? Oh, are you talking about the Aether? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, the Coriolis force. No, 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 no. There's one thing that was not isolated. Why don't you spit it out? Spit it out. The rotation of the Earth. Oh, how, did he, yes. I, I, how did he isolate that? He, he didn't isolate it. He measured it. Uh, he measured it? Yes. Uh, how did you know it was the Earth that was rotating? Bismuth in a gorse chamber. And what, else, what, else could it have, what else could it have been? I don't know. I'm asking you. How do you know it was the Earth? And what else could it have been? I'm asking you. I'm just saying. See, we just we don't. And know for I'm sure. asking you. What else could it have been? Well, it could have been um, anything. Could have been anything. Yeah. So it could have been. A, it could have been, been a squirrel that way. running or it, it could, could have been a squirrel running around in a 15 no, 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 degree. It could have been built that circle. way to give that deviation. At, it could have been times. built that way to give an erroneous measurement. Okay. I'm not so every, anything. So, I'm just saying. So to you, the, you, theodolites and equatorial mounts are built in such a way to give a 15 degree per hour rotation, just because NASA lies, and that's what we're supposed to believe. No, no. All I'm asking is, is it the Earth? When when you when you witness the the stars rotate about, I'm I'm presuming I'm assuming you live in the in the northern this dude hemisphere. This a joke. All right. Do you live Do you live in the northern hemisphere? We need to talk. Do you live in the nor Northern Hemisphere? It's not about me. Okay. Assuming you live in the Northern Hemisphere like I do, if you look at, at the, the North Pole, which is approximately the Northern Celestial Pole, you will, you will witness the stars rotate at roughly 15 degrees per hour. Okay. Kmo's in the same hemisphere as you. I would assume so, yes. And if you're, if you're in scary, the, the scary Southern Hemisphere... <laughs> Uh, you know, even though Australia does exist, despite you know, contrary to, to popular belief, um, it, it would rotate counterclockwise, or no, sorry, clockwise, at roughly yep. fifteen degrees per hour. Does that? Funnily oh. enough. So look, let's get back to oddly, uh, oddly, oddly, oddly enough, it, that coincides with you know the understanding that the Earth is a sphere. Mm. Now, if the Earth was not a sphere, how, how would you propose the stars should move? They all still go east to west, no matter what. Correct. But if the Earth were flat, you would have a similar azimuthal projection that you would, you would expect to see with the stars that you would expect to see with the sun. So you have from, let's say, again, South America or South Africa, you have... A thirty degree discrepancy in the azimuthal angle at the winter equinox from South Africa, because. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Why is that? Why is there an azimuthal discrepancy? Go on. Huh? Huh? Go on. Why is there? An, go why go is go there go an azimuthal discrepancy? Go, go ahead. On. Go on. Go on. Because the Earth is a sphere. Okay. So look, let's get back to Bob. Because the Earth is not flat. Yeah, you said Bob proved rotation, yeah? Thanks, Bob. Okay. So can you walk me through it on what, how he did that? They took a ring laser gyroscope, mm -hmm. which works, from my understanding, based on the principles of... I'm sure you're aware of the experiment. But you're not. I'm sure you're aware of the experiment. But you are not. I'm asking you. Yeah, if I'm aware of it. Don't play I'm... coy with me, because I know you know the answer, because I know the answer too. Yes, but this is your answer, not how I see it. <laughs> you brought Whoa. up Bob. You said thanks, Bob. So what are you thanking him for? What did he do exactly? I'm thanking for I'm thanking him for proving that there's a rotation of the so earth. How did he do that? I thank him for being a clown and giving us a good laugh. How did he do that, Dredston? I, I thank Chemo for doing the same thing. This has been enlightening.
So you're thanking Bob for something you don't know how he did it. Wow. Oh my goodness. This what did awesome. Bob do then if you're thanking him? If you said thanks, Bob, Bob would say, for what? What did I do? Bob's your uncle. Right, so what are you thanking him for? You know very well what I'm thanking Bob for. Not quite, no. I haven't had this conversation with you before. Why are you thanking Bob? What did he do for you? He, he measured the 15 degree per hour drift. How? The rotation, the rotation of the Earth. Using why are you thanking laser, Bob? Using sir? a ring laser, laser gyroscope. Why are you thanking Bob? Because he used a ring laser gyroscope to uh, pick up the rotation of the Earth. How did he isolate the Why rotation? Are you saying, How did he you manipulate stop. his independent variable? His cause. To oh effect. my gosh. Are we, are we going to talk about independent variables again? I thought this was over with. Is it not a cause to the effect? You guys love this whole re re reductionist pers uh, approach to how science is done, where you have to I'm have not, it's an, not a, an argument. I'm just, I'm just a dependent, a dependent, is. and an independent variable. That's not really how science is done. Nobody okay, thinks so, like that. All right, let, I don't reality. want to argue too much. It's early. So the idea that Bob showed rotation that is also on faith. It's not on faith. So it's, how, it's, how, what did it's, Bob do? It's, legitimate, it's literally what he measured. So what did he do? Did he presuppose the Earth was turning and put a machine on the ground and said, ah, that's what I'm measuring? No, no. But you know who Bob Nodell is. He I'm presupposed you, the Earth the was order flat. Of he presupposed the Earth was flat and then set up his experiment to try to prove that. And he proved the contrary. It literally, it literally, his results literally proved him wrong. So he got a device, put it on the ground or on a table got a deviation, and then how does he know that's because of the Earth turning? Because... because oh, shit, man. <laughs> was he, he, he put it in a bismuth cask. He I tried to isolate it from literally everything in the world. He put it in a Gauss chamber. It had there, there was no possibility that anything else was acting on it, and it picked up a 15 degree per hour spin. Okay. But I'm asking about the Earth. How does he know? How did he connect the two? Earth turn and device. he he didn't connect the two. He's in denial of his the results of his experiment. How are you connecting he, the two? He he had to backpedal and and if claim that device, what he did was something else. If I bring this device else. to your house, put it on your table, turn it on, where do you get Earth rotation from? You would pick it up in whatever axis is Again, sitting. Again, you keep on saying picking it up. It's measurable. It's an output of the device. So, well, so you're you're so you're denying the legitimacy, the legitimacy not denying, of the technology. I'm just you, you no, you literally are denying the legitimacy denying of the I'm technology the of a ring laser gyroscope. Not denying. I'm saying if we bring this device to your house, turn it on, it starts deviating. We're just looking at this device. We're not outside. How are you connecting Earth rotation with what's happening in this device? I, I I imagine it, it outputs some sort of data set. So which again, then this is, is interpreted. Faith. We imagine it's no not a problem. It's, not a problem. But this is this is how technology works. But it, I'm it saying has we have to guess, and it guess outputs that it's data. the Earth rotation. But but this is the data that that they literally picked up and interpreted themselves, and it proved them wrong. So we would say this device. Well, watch watch the video that was just shared in chat. Okay, I'm not arguing against that. I'm just trying to connect no, the dots. No, but you, you, are, you are arguing against that. This is not literally arguing. what you're doing. Well, actually, Dakotas, that one's a very special one. It's actually got the bit from uh, behind the curve, and then there's a bit in the middle from a Flat Earth uh, conference. I think it was 2018 where Bob says he can't measure it after he'd already measured it. So, yeah. Again, it's I'm very, not even arguing lovely. with that. I'm trying to find it's out lovely, if, I, if I bring this device done. to you and we turn it on and it starts doing what it does inside... How do we connect rotation to what's I, happening in our I don't, I don't have a data acquisition device to hook up to it, so I don't know how to do that myself. So we just, it's on faith, basically, yeah? It's, I'm, I'm trusting the flat earthers who prove themselves wrong. No, no, well, we're, here's trust, the, here's we're the trusting question. the gyroscope on faith. Here's the question. Are we measuring effect or determining cause? That's what we're supposed to be doing. Well, no, they're saying it's already moving, and this device just no, picks up that is, movement. This is me this is measuring an effect, right? So, what's the cause? It, it, that is a really good question, and that's my question to Chemo: is what else could be causing 
this if effect. we say the Earth, is that based on faith? Or do we know for sure? When you isolate literally everything else you can possibly isolate from being in effect on this device, I think the only thing you're left with is what? Rotation. Yes. So that we have Thank to you. go with what... So we don't see it, we don't feel it, we don't observe it, any of that thing. Would you, would you expect to feel a rotation of 15 no. degrees per hour? No, 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 of course not. But we don't observe it. I'm so glad we have to hear to, you say that. We've got this that. device to only tell us what we think is happening, yeah? I mean, th that's what we use sensors and technology for, no? Yeah, so we've got this device to tell us what we think is happening. Not just this device. I mean, this is one, one data set. Yeah, but I'm just saying it's one device. If I brought it to your house now, turn it on, <laughs> you, you would say, well, that's because of the Earth turn. Even though we haven't seen the Earth turn. But we would just go, well, that's because of the Earth turn. Yeah, but I wouldn't say that unless unless you did the same experiment where you tried to isolate using a Gauss chamber, a bismuth chamber, a potassium chamber, a fucking uranium chamber, or whatever the hell else he used, mm -hmm. to isolate all other forces that are acting on, on the device. Yeah, so we rule out every every other variable, and we, yes. have one, we have one postulation, one hypothesis, that the Earth is turning, yeah? Yes, and then when you combine that hypothesis mm -hmm. with every every other observation that is made, be it the rotation of the stars, the northern and southern celestial poles, and then you you combine that with the the um the Coriol the the measured Coriolis and Ephos effects, when you combine that with the fact that we have an atmospheric pressure gradient, when you combine that with the fact that um basically every other observation that we have and th and this is e we're not even like we're not even using science right now we're this is observations okay <clears throat> that, I just want to that clear literally to that literally you can do yourself i know you love that phrase but literally you can do it yourself but you refuse to do this and you refuse to acknowledge it because why because you have a bias that you have to confirm otherwise it destroys your whole belief system I haven't said any of that. I'm trying to that. go with how you see it. I haven't denied any of what bad. you've said. It I'm simply asking bad. the mechanics, how it works, and how they would connect rotation. You've just said, well, we can't think of anything else, so we think it's rotation. Queen, you're you're too funny, Queen. I, I just it's just a riot. I love it. Okay, so let's. You, you still with us, or have you bit the dust? What's the Are deal? you talking to me? Yeah. Um, I, yeah, dude, I'm here. Mm. Okay, so we live in gas pressure, as you said. We live in atmospheric pressure, not gas pressure. Atmospheric pressure, yeah. Where does that pressure come from? It comes from the weight of oh, the gas stacking, stacking upon itself. Look, man, I, I gotta ask you before we go down this path, what, mm -hmm. what is your background and experience with physics and thermodynamics and fluid dynamics? Oh, it's not about me. No, I'm I legit, I'm curious. I, I would love to know. I know. I'm, I'm I I'm I just I want to know. I know. Before 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 we continue, I I have to know because I know. in order to have a, in order to have a legitimate conversation on these topics, we need to have a common ground. And if I myself as a as a licensed mechanical engineer mm -hmm. don't have any confidence in your legitimacy as somebody who understands fluid dynamics, we can't we can't continue. That's fine. Like I said, all I do is uh, ask questions uh, without okay. making any claims. If you're claiming to know something, without, you without should be making claims, it. I love it. Yeah. If all right. Uh, this is great. If you're able to uh, demonstrate what you're talking about, you either can or you can't. I'm only, we're only, you can pull out any time you want. Getting too too much. Like I said, are you still here? You said you're still here. If 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 you, I don't know what Queen is trying to say. Uh, Here's the thing. If you haven't figured it out about me yet, I prefer to use my words and to describe thoughts mm -hmm. and theories and uh, physics physics laws and things like that with words. Uh, I don't like to use links. I don't like to use images. If I can avoid to do that, I try to do so. Mm -hmm. So I like to have a I like to have a conversation, and I try to convey what I'm talking about through words. So when you ask me for evidence of something, that that is. I mean that's great. Like you can you can want evidence all you want, but 
I prefer to have a conversation and to, and to talk about these things. Sure, so. which is what I'm doing now. I'm trying to have a conversation. I'm just trying to figure out how you connect your dots, you see. So we found out so far the measurements based on faith. I'm trying to get you to it. To, no, to it's not based on faith. I'm trying to get That's, you to concede. There, there, was, or there, was never, there was never an admission oh, that yeah. was made. There no. was never an admission made. I'm trying to get you the, to the, consider the measure, No, no, I'm not conceding that. The measurements were not made on faith. I'm trying to get you to I, consider now. I trust, I trust the people who are doing those measurements mm -hmm. and those things. Okay. The measurements are not made on faith. Okay. So now we're trying to figure out rotation. And you've got this device, and you're saying the only thing I can think of is the Earth is moving. Yeah, is that where we are with that? Now I'm asking you about the atmosphere. It's not just about the device. It's and not just about the device. It's... Spinning ball monkey, please stop interrupting. It's not just about the device. It's about every other observation that we see. Yeah, yeah. So like I say, you look at the stars, you say, hmm, I think Earth's moving. You look at the sun, yes. you say, hmm, I think Earth's moving. Yeah, I get that. That's why you had a device to confirm what you think is happening, right? Which is done. Thanks, Bob. Right. So Bob got a device, and now you're saying, this device tells us what we thought was already happening. That's fine. So now, the atmospheric pressure. You're saying the weight. What do you, what do you think causes atmospheric pressure? Um, I didn't claim there was pressure. So you don't you don't believe in pressure? I didn't claim there was or there isn't. I haven't claimed anything about pressure. I'm just saying that you oh, said there this was is just, pressure. This is just the the lovely um the the oh, man. Oh, okay. So 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 do you do you deny that there's a gradient? Again, I haven't made any claims yeah. about any kind of. I'm, this is. I'm. I'm asking you to. to I, I don't know. To if respond. I I'm asking know. you to respond to I a question. Know. Is, I don't is, know. There, I don't know. is there an atmospheric gradient? I don't know. I mean, okay. Do you understand what fluid head is? Fluid. Fluid head. No. What is that? Head. Head pressure. No. What is that? Okay. Well, this is just great. So now I now I understand that you are not qualified to have this oh conversation. What does that have to do with atmospheric pressure? What the start didn't clear into that? <laughs> what do, what does what does that have to do with atmospheric pressure? Oh man. Oh this is great. Oh you you really don't know what fluid head is. No no, connect the dots. What does you, fluid you don't, head have to I, do I'm, with I'm 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 genuinely surprised that you don't understand what fluid head is. That's fine, that's fine. We're all here to learn. So you connect the dots for me. What does fluid head and atmospheric, okay. atmospheric... Do you Okay, do you understand that as you descend in a fluid, pressure increases, right? Uh, in water, yeah. Okay, so why would the atmosphere not be the same? Because the atmosphere is a fluid, no? Again, I'm not making any claims if that's what you're saying it is. I'm asking you to respond to I an don't assertion know. that I'm making. I, I don't know. I, I am, made, I I am, making, these, uh, I am making a claim. I am making a claim okay. that there's an atmospheric gradient. I am making a claim that the atmospheric gradient is caused by fluid head. Fluid I am head. correlating that fluid head argument with the atmospheric gradient to what is experienced in sub submersible objects, i.e. in fluid, i.e. in water. The fluid the atmosphere, head is to do with water. The atmosphere is also a fluid. Do you understand what a fluid is? Yeah, so I'm saying you're saying fluid, uh, fluid head is to do with water. Is fluid head to do with gas, pr uh, atmospheric pressure? Gases are fluids. Do you understand that? Yeah, so explain to me then where the pressure comes from. The pressure comes from the weight of the fluid. Where does the weight come from? Gravity. Gravity. The, the, the weight of the fluid comes from the mass of the fluid. Which, which gravity? Intera interacting with the mass of other objects, i.e. the most massive object, the Earth. Which gravity? All the gravity. The summation of gravity. All the gravity. The so summation they... of gravity. Which gravity is that? It's the summation of gravity. It's all the gravity acting upon that fluid. Is it Newtonian gravity or Einsteinian gravity? It's both. How is it both? They're 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 not mutually inconclusive like a lot of you people like to like to think. How are they the same? They expound upon each other. Yeah, but Newtonian how are they... Newtonian gravity was the basis for Einsteinian gravity. I can't believe he said both. 
Well, what's the mechanism of Newtonian gravity? What's the mechanism of Newtonian gravity? It's mass. Mass. Yeah. Mass doing what? You, you, know, you know this. Mass you, you doing know this. what? Yes, we are swimming in the atmosphere because the atmosphere is a fluid. Yes, mass pulling mass, yeah? Yes. And what's this the is, mechanism this is, of this Einsteinian is shown, gravity? This is shown in, in the... I'm drawing a blank on the name. And then the Grundlack and... and um, Merkowitz experiments. Um, it, it, this this is shown. Like this is this is evident. What's it's, the mechanism there's for no Einsteinian gravity? There's no dispute. There's no dispute about gravity and and okay, how it functions. You keep on saying the only things. the only dispute is among flat earthers <laughs> and the necessity to deny it. Can you just explain what you're talking about instead of going off into little tangents? Right, you're talking I'm, about head. Gravi gravity is mass attracting mass. That's what gravity right. is. Mass attracting it's mass. A, it's a perturbance in the space time continuum. So mass Whatever you want to call so it. So what happened to the bending of space? Now go back to head pressure. He he seemed to get tripped up on that. I yeah, but he, but it's well, funny because he really wanted to that... skip. He really wanted to skip past it. No no, so, I wanted to focus but, on that so we can no, no, see no, where he, you're coming from. Okay, let's let's focus on head pressure then. So if you're what what do you think is the cause of what goes up and what goes down? Relative density. Relative density. Okay. Um, so how how does that work exactly? Can you explain it to me in more in more detail? Yeah. Uh, lighter objects go up. Uh, if it's less dense. Cavendish. More dense. Yes. Thank you, Cavendish experiment. That was my bad. I tripped up on the words. I apologize. I interrupted you, Kimo. Cavendish. Yeah, the, it's one of the experiments that, that determine the, the uh, gravitational constant. Okay, can you... Oh, you're not going to show it. No, 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 no. Let's go back, because we were having a conversation, and I interrupted you. So... What? What were you saying before? Well, I was talking about the pressure, where it comes from. You're saying gravity. Um, yeah. So, so I, you, you asserted that it's relative density. Would you expand on that? Yeah, less dense objects uh, will move in any direction depending on the medium that it's in. So there is no okay. up or down. Um, so, so aer aerogels, um, aerogels have a have a, a varying uh, varying density um, but between. It's still, it's still more dense than the medium it's in. Um. Wrong, actually. There are several aerogel, aerogels that are lighter than air. But do they float in air? No, they do not. So there you go, it's do, more dense than why, air. Why, why, do, why, do, why do they float, or why do they not float in air? If they're lighter than air, why do they not float in because air? Because it's more dense than the medium it's in. It's not true. Well, what's the answer then? I'm looking for you to tell me the answer. I've just told because... you the answer. No, you're you're wrong. We can test that. We can change the medium. We'll have that. You you, you can't you can test that. Yeah, we can test that and have it move in any direction. So okay. The the reason that they don't float in in air is because they're porous, right? So he, he, have you have you heard of the 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 experiment where you take a brick and you put it in water, it sinks. But if you wrap it in saran wrap, then it, it'll float. Do you understand yeah. why that happens? Uh, yeah, no. I mean, look. Let's get back to the pressure. Do you, do you, under, do you understand why that happens? Because <laughs> so so you're talking about relative densities. You, I can't imagine that you think that steel, which is what many boats are made out of, is less dense than water, right? Because if you know, if it were less dense than water, it should float all the time, right? But if you take a, a hunk of steel and you throw it in water, it's going to sink. So why, if, you know, it's just based on relative densities, why does a boat float where a hunk of steel will sink when they're made out of the same material? <clears throat> I'm finding it disheartening that you're making claims to know things, but then you're asking me questions. Are you conceding that there is no gravity, there are no measurements, uh, there is no rotation? I find it disheartening because... You seem to think that I'm asking you questions that I don't know the answers to. I'm asking you questions that I know the answers to because I know it destroys your bullshit beliefs. But I haven't made any claims, have I? 
you haven't made any claims because that's what flat earthers like to do a lot of times. Because if you don't make claims, if you don't make claims, if you don't make claims, you can't be proven wrong. Now, can you? So, you so ask I'm asking, about I'm asking you, made. I'm because because if you don't make claims and I don't ask you questions, this conversation is bullshit. So in order for anything to happen in this conversation, I have to ask you questions, or you're gonna dance around everything like a pedantic piece of shit. What you just want me to so, make things up? No, that's that's what you're gonna continue to do. Oh, geometry can't be applied, and blah blah blah. No, this is what you're gonna continue to do at infinitum until somebody forces you to answer a question, to make a claim, because that's what flat earthers do: denial, denial. Denial, avoidance, denial, avoidance, denial. Period. Asking you to I'm explain your position, Dresden. I've explained it very clearly. Yeah, based on faith. Your words. I, it's not based on faith. It's based on That's observation and science. You said faith. I've, I asked you. I okay. So so this latest thing that I brought up. Okay, mm -hmm. the brick. It sinks unless you wrap it in saran wrap. Then it floats. Oh why? Why would it do that? Why would it do that? Or if you put it in a Ziploc bag, why would it do that? Yeah, you've got uh, air in the plastic. Can you can you show me the the forces that are acting the on, air, on this the air object? Is giving you the air is yeah. a force acting on the object. No, the okay. air is uh, less okay. dense and it will rise. Okay. Okay. So so how how would you? Given given a, a set of circumstances, how would you determine whether something would rise in in water or whether it would sink, whether it would float or whether it would sink? What? Well, how would you determine that? On the relative density. Based on the relative density of of what and what? The object and the medium. The rel okay. So using scalar scalar terms, being density, you think that you'd be able to determine. So you have air, which is, uh, I, I'm drawing a blank. Um, it's less than less than one kilogram per meter cubed, and you have uh, water, which is what sixty two kilograms per meter cubed, ish. Mm -hmm. um, and a br and a brick, which is something like maybe a hundred kilograms per meter cubed. How how would you determine with those three scalar terms whether and whether that wrapped in saran wrap which is let's just say it's equivalent equivalent to water how would you determine whether it would sink or float okay so i think you're all over the place dresden a little bit here i'm, yeah. I'm all over the place because i'm asking you get a little bit lost to, to, in the I'm, I'm 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 yeah. asking i'm asking you to think about i'm asking you to think about the mathematics behind this yeah. i'm not i'm not all over the place this is a very very poignant question because you, you, you people, you people being flat earthers, <laughs> like to talk about relative density, but then when you're asked about how to actually determine what what dictates what, and and then math comes into the equation, you don't know how to do it. Dryston, look again. You're the one making the wild, outrageous claims. So of course, you're going to be asked about it. If I were to make the, I'm the not wild making claims, a wild, like outrageous claim. Floor, I'm making, I'm making a claim. I'm making floor. a claim that's. Can you show I'm me making the ice a claim. On the search floor, which is why I don't talk about the ice wall. unless someone I asks am... me for my opinion on what holds the water in, and I'll give you my guess. Yes, I will say, well, it appears that water needs to be contained, so we can go with the ice wall. Now, obviously, if you're saying you've been around the ball and saw no ice wall. And that's something we'd like to see. Someone go from north to south and, and prove that there is curvature and these uh, expeditions can be made. Okay? I, but, I haven't been fortunate enough to make those sorts of vacations myself, but what I'm saying is that given, given the appropriate circumstances and the, the, uh, the, the understanding of, of the densities of objects, you should be able to say, okay, this under this circumstance it will sink, under this circumstance it will float. I can do those things because I understand physics. You cannot because you substitute gravity with relative density, which is part of the equation, but you're missing you're missing the whole. Right. Always the way. We always miss the crescendo. How but am I all over the place? Because look, we're I'm trying, not all you, over you the invoked place. atmospheric pressure, then you went on to head pressure, then you went on to water. Atmos to... Atmospheric pressure is due to head pressure. Then you They're went on correlated. To gravity. They're and correlated. Then it's all it's all cor you now think it's all over the place density. because you don't understand. 
You think it's all over the place because you don't understand physics. You're not explaining. You don't. I, I shouldn't have to explain this to somebody who claims to to understand physics. Well, we're seeing that if you yeah, know which what you're which you do, about, yeah. you claim you claim to understand physics. I should not have to. I should not have to explain this to somebody who purports to understand physics. Well, you claim to understand it, but cannot explain it. How does that make sense? It's because I'm constantly interrupted and then ask questions and then thrown these non-assertions that you keep making, which are, are meaningless and, and, and horseshit. Not quite. You said gravity. I asked you which gravity. You said all. Then I said, then what is the mechanics you... of Newtonian? Then you interrupted me. Then I asked you for the, for the mechanics of Einsteinian. And then you went on to head pressure. That's not quite exactly what happened. Okay, how did it go down? That's, that's, that's a misrepresentation of oh, what explain happened. Explain how it went down. <laughs> my my response was that Einsteinian gravity and Newtonian gravity expounded upon each other. That Newtonian gravity was the basis, and then Einstein expounded upon it with his relative theory of relativity. It's it's. I mean, that's. I didn't interrupt you in any way, and you're misrepresenting what I said. So when the apple falls from but, the tree, but what, you've got a lot, you've got a lot of flurf, for flurf, and I'm sorry for interrupting you. Go ahead. When um when an apple falls from a tree, what's happening? Our atmosphere is fluid, Queen. Our if, gas is a fluid. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have to respond to this comment. Yeah, but do that in text. Gases, gases okay, are fluid. Dresden, calm down. Text. Gases are fluid. Reply fluids. with a reply with a message. We're in the middle of a voice chat conversation. You see. So don't get distracted too much by a text chat. You're not even paying attention if that's the case, if you're looking at the texture so much. That's probably why you're all over the place, because you're doing more than one thing at once. So, if you look at um, this This gravity, is like a reverse gallop. This is hilarious. Apple, if you look at the apple falling from the tree, what is happening? Talk to me. If you look at the apple falling from the tree? Mm -hmm. What's the cause? What's going on? Um, well, the, the, the weight of the gravity or the weight of the, the apple has apparently exceeded the tensile strength of the stem and now it is broken off from the stem and the, the, the apple is now falling. Mm -hmm. What is it being pulled towards the center of the earth? The earth and the, and the apple are attracting each other. They're being pulled towards each other. The earth, the apple is attracting the earth. Yes. At an infinitesimal rate. Do you understand what infinitesimal means? No, I don't understand how the apple is pulling the earth. Because grab mass attracts mass, no? No. Okay. Well, that's what that's what the the tenant of the law of of gravitational. Um, well, that's not the attraction. current science. The current science is the bending of space time. And that force, that acceleration, the, is, is an apparent they, acceleration, not an actual acceleration. <laughs> Dryson, it's an apparent acceleration, not an actual acceleration. Einstein describes the bending of space-time. So which is it then? Is it the attraction? This this, this or... sort of, this sort of bullshit pedantics and semantics. I, I'm not going to buy into. It's it's an acceleration. I, it doesn't matter what you want to call it. And that's that's now that's that's a misrepresentation of what Einstein's theory purports. But it's an actual acceleration. Like when it is an actual acceleration. They are accelerating towards each other. Well, what's causing that actual acceleration? The the law of gravitation. The mass attracting mass. So the bending of space-time is causing an actual acceleration. Yes. For all intents and purposes, yes. All intents and is that actual? What do you mean, all intents and purposes? What do you mean by that? That is what we experience. That is that is an actual acceleration. Without an actual force. What do you mean without an actual force? Because gravity is not a force, as I've been trying to explain. It's uh, the bending of space-time. Newtonian gives us a pulling mechanism. So is pulling something not exerting a force on it? But this is it. Einstein introduced the bending, not the pulling. 
I don't. I, I, I don't really care what Einstein says. To but be I'll honest. give you an example. If you take it doesn't. Bowl, it doesn't. It doesn't I'll, matter. It I'll doesn't matter what theoretical physics well, let, says. Let me ask you then. Let me ask you. If I take a bowling ball and put it in the middle of a trampoline, and we take a golf ball at the edge of the trampoline, did that bowling ball pull the tennis ball, the golf ball, or did it roll towards the bowling ball? It rolled towards it, but it that's just but an it analogy. It. Where that is, was, the that example is just an analogy made for the bending of space time. It's not I mean it's just an analogy. Yeah, that's to help you understand that it's not a force. That the bowling ball is creating a bending of the space, causing the tennis ball to roll. Whether whether you want to call it a force or not, it's falling. Falling towards they're falling towards each other. And whether you want to call that a force or not, it's it's it, it's immaterial. Because because the effects of it are measurable. They're they're repeatable, they're measurable. It, it's it's immaterial what you want to think about what, what it actually is. It's not a force. I, no, we don't agree that it it's not a force. a force. So okay, so like I just said, if I take the bowling ball and place it in, at the center of the trampoline. Why did the other ball? Why did the other ball move towards it? Was it being pulled? Was there a connection that pulled the this, ball? You, you're talking about an analogy that they use to describe the bending space-time. Yeah, I'm asking a space question. Yeah, but your question, your your question, your question is a straw man, and it, it's 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 begging the question because you're trying to get me to answer a question about a different topic by an analogy that is meaningless. Okay. That's what that is what you're doing. You're okay. you're you're you're. It, it, this is disingenuous. Okay. So when I put the bowling ball in the middle, which which is funny from somebody who doesn't understand what fluid head is. Well, look, again, can't I'm even can't to, even I'm answer to establish questions about if this that. is a force or not. But when I put the bowling ball in the center, I don't personally. I don't think it matters whether it's a force or not. Listen, hey. I'm asking you a simple question. Put the bowling ball in the center. You're asking us. You're asking what you think is a simple question about it's a. It is a malformed question. You're not even gonna let me finish. It doesn't matter. I don't care to let you finish because this is a meaningless question. So when that tennis ball rolls towards the bowling ball, is that what's going? Is that an attraction? Is it being pulled? <laughs> do I do I have to repeat myself? Yeah, what was your answer? I'm asking, is it a pulling force, or did it, this, did it bend the, what, the fabric the, the around? Whole, the, whole, the whole heavy object in the trampoline scenario mm -hmm. is, is an analogy to what they say is happening in the, the bending of space-time. It's an analogy. <laughs> it's an no analogy. Clue, Sherlock. Of course. So I'm asking you, when the so, bowling okay, ball... So, so is, do you, would you say that the Earth is rolling towards the sun on the globe <laughs> Earth model? No, that's asinine. And you know it's asinine, and that's why you're asking this question, because you know any legitimate answer to it is, is you think is proving you're right. All right. This is well, disingenuous. Let's extend this, the it's, this is completely let's disingenuous. Huge, and let's put a load of balls on that trampoline. The, hev like the one with the most mass will give us the biggest bend bending of space time, right? Didn't you just say let's give up the trampoline and then you bring up the trampoline again? No, no, I'm this, saying this, this is this this analogy is completely asinine and you know it. Yet you, you, just you won't said let it, it explain you won't what let it happens go. in reality. You won't you no it's it's an analogy for what happens in but reality, it's, yeah? But in in the context of this questioning scenario it's meaningless because you, the question that you're trying to get me to answer mm -hmm. is disingenuous. It, it's disingenuous, and you know it. I'm trying to figure out if gravity is a force or not. It you doesn't matter that, whether it. it you, you, said, you already know. You, you already that know. The same. You already know gravity doesn't exist, so it's just relative densities. So what you're trying to do is goad me into answering a question which is disingenuous, and you know it. Let's take a look at Cavendish and the trampoline together at the same time. So with Cavendish, you don't need the fabric to cause the attraction; it just pulls. And with Einstein, you just have a heavier mass in the fabric, which makes the other objects roll towards it. Which one are you going with? Einstein or Newtonian? They're not mutually exclusive. Well, yes, they are. Like I just said, one... No, they're one, not. One they're, they are not... Strings where they, they are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> you, you seem to think that Einstein says 
everything works like a trampoline, and then you seem to think that the Cavendish experiment, which is confirms more or less Newtonian uh, idea of gravity, that it's just a mass attracting mass. It's one and the same. The trampoline is just a, a pictorial analogy for what is happening with space time. They're using they're they're trying to show what happens with a what you could call a gravity well and how things would fall towards it. I mean, it's comical when we have to teach your own science. Okay? No, it's it's comical when you think that you're you're making a point, but what you're doing is just showing how disingenuous and dishonest you are. Right, try to listen to what's being said. Einstein describes fabric being bent. Bending of space time, the bending of the fabric. It's it's an analogy. It's it's like you're you're thinking that there's this physical fabric that's being bent, that there's this physical trampoline that's being bent. That's not what's happening. But there is a fabric that is being bent. Uh, okay, I, I literally just said what my opinion about what you said was. That you, you're, 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 you are reiterating fabric, yourself. The fabric that Einstein described. This is, going, this is going nowhere because you're being a fucking child. Okay. Like I said, we're trying to figure out from Baller whether they go with the Cavendish or the trampoline version of it. They the are not mutually exclusive. What's the they point are of not the, mutually exclusive. What is the trampoline showing us? It's it's a visual analogy trying to help people understand what they mean by the bending of the curvature of space time. But is it's, there a it's, force in this trampoline? Everything is falling towards each other. So yes, you could say that there's a force acting upon everything towards everything else. You can you can argue because they are accelerating. So if there's an acceleration between one object to another, there's a force between one object to another. Okay, so what if the there if there is an acceleration, there is inherently a force. What's the mech when it bends the space time? How does it come towards the larger mass? You're you're asking me for my hypothesis on 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 the details of gravity and why mass attracts mass. I, no, I can't no, no. pretend. I, I, I can't. I can't mechanism. pretend to understand. I can't. You, no, that is exactly is no what good. you're asking me. You're tr the mechanism. That is yeah, exactly listen, what you're asking me. No good. You are you are asking me for the, the mechanism, mechanism for by which. Right? Shut up for a second. You are asking me for the mechanism by which gravity exists, which I can't pretend to know that. And ah. you and you and you know that nobody understands that. Gra but I what we know, it. I'm what, what we what we you understand it. what we know, what we know is that mass attracts mass. This is repeatable. It's an experimental fact. We've proven it time and time again. It's fact. Okay. It Not is fact. I'm trying to explain that. I'm trying to get you to explain Einsteinian gravity. You're saying they're the same Einstein, thing. Einstein didn't understand Einsteinian gravity. You expect me to understand Einsteinian gravity? It's the theory of relativity. It's theoretical physics. People don't understand it. Well, it's theor It's theoretical. Einstein didn't understand it. Einstein so, uh, uh, replaced Einstein Newtonian gravity. He didn't. Uh, he didn't replace Newtonian gravity. I've said this a hundred times already. They're not mutually exclusive. Okay. So, like I said, they have a different mechanism. No, they don't. No, they don't. What? Explain to me what the different mechanism is, please. One bends the space. One, the other one pulls the object. That's not an explanation of the difference in the mechanism that produces the, the gravity. That's yeah. that's not an explanation. That is that is your hilarious attempt at trying to pick apart the two different theories and to try to show that they're they're uh, mutually exclusive, which they are not. Okay, so you have a pulling force. Yes, New Newton did not offer a mechanism. You are lying. He offered he a pulling he, force. He he, he he simply stated. His 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 theory was that mass, the his, his theory was that mass <laughs> attracts mass. Don't There's no the mechanism. In the chat, they're going to get you into trouble. No, you're wrong. You are lying. You okay. uh, you're be, you're being you're you all you got to light a flurf because that's just what you have all to right, do. So look, if I'm wrong, I'm asking you then. What what's happening with this pulling force? How is it pulling the other object? 
you were okay again i do i have to repeat this again you're asking me for my hypothesis on why mass attracts mass i don't have an answer for you no no not why i'm saying no you, that's what you're connected. asking me you're, that's exactly what you're asking me no i'm not asking you why i'm saying how so there's a hook or a connection <laughs> how how is the same as why in this context you've got to be kidding me no, how this does is, it work this, not this why is, does it work this is ridiculous this how is and, ridiculous <laughs> I'm asking you, how does it work? Not why does it work? Cavendish and uh, uh, Merkowitz and Grunlach have proved that the how, if, the, if, you, if that's how you want to phrase this, they've proved the how. They've determined the gravitational constant. We know there, there, there's mathematical models for how this works. It's, it's not a surprise to anybody. It's, it's... So for example, how does a clock work? You have... Hogs and gears, and they apply Who's all over the place now? How does gravity work? How does the clock work? How does the fucking car work? It, if we were talking about how, not why. So how does a clock work? It has cogs inside which turn. They press on another cog, and then there's gears yeah, but that why, turn, but why and, they, the and they in turn turn the hands, right? They but press the on spin? the hands, and they turn the clock. That's how it, it works. So how why does, does gravity why does the cog pull? Spin? Can, I add one, oh, can I add one thing? Just for a second, on the previous subject matter, um, in Newton's laws of physics, uh, laws of gravity, uh, things move in straight lines until a force is applied to them. Okay, so in Einstein, the object's moving in a straight line, but something is deviating the line, so the line becomes curved, and that 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 deviation from what he called space-time bending. So, I mean, a lot of people forget that law of Newton is actually being applied inside of Einsteinian's, you know, theory. So this is what I'm trying that, to establish that is, here. It essentially uh, uh, coincides with what I said, is that they're not mutually exclusive, and Einstein expounded upon Newtonian gravity. Thank you for that. What I'm trying to establish is the bowling ball and the trampoline. This is key. You don't understand oh, man. Okay, so we, I thought we were talking about a clock. Now you want to talk about a bowling ball. Why that's not a good analogy? Just real quick so that you can get past that. The reason the, the trampoline is a good analogy is because the whole trampoline, bowling ball, golf ball thing is all being done within the gravitational field of the Earth. It's not a good analogy because if you took all those mechanisms and put them out in space, the same thing wouldn't happen. If you put them away from all gravitational objects as far as you could, the, the same thing wouldn't happen with the bowling ball, the trampoline, and the... Thank you. The, that's why it's a bad analogy. It's, Thank it's you. It's good showing people what's, what's happening, but that's the main reason it's a bad analogy. <laughs> That's crap me up. So, uh, okay, so why is why does why does what he said why why is what he said laughable? Because I'm tr only trying to establish one thing, one thing here, which is no, no, you you no, you need to respond to this question. You you laughed at what he said. Why is what he said laughable? You're laughing again. Why is what he said laughable? You're avoiding the key question here. He's laughing. <laughs> Bullshit. Right, so let's He's try like, again. Yes. The bowling yes, ball exactly. in the middle. I love, I think it's funny these people saying in the chat that chemo, chemo won Dresden Zero. It's funny. Let's try again. The ball in the middle of the fabric. Yes. Let's try again. Let's talk about the same thing that's just been debunked multiple times. Okay, cool. Let's try one more time. So you've yeah, got let's the try. fabric. Give me any fabric. Got the ball in the middle of the fabric. Okay. So as you can see with this picture here on the thumbnail, there's no attraction unless the ball in the middle causes the other ball to roll towards it. So why why does he need to put it in the dip? Why can't they just have it on a snooker table? Have the balls roll towards one another if there's an attraction. It looks like they're oh, both man. going down at the same time, Dude, as well as you, attracting each other. The you, smaller you know, ball, you know why. You know I, exactly why. The smaller ball is being attracted to the Earth. 
the bigger balls being attracted to the earth. The trampoline is just in the way. Okay? They're both trying to go towards the earth. The smaller ball is not trying to go towards the bigger ball. It's just trying to go to the earth. It's trying to travel in a straight line towards the earth. Thank and the tramp is in its way. That's all. So stop using the trampoline analogy. Well, it's that's meaningless. What, that's what we were taught. The best way no, that is think. legitimately what is happening. That's the best that's way. So okay, so so here, let's say you took, let's say you, balls, let's say you put all these balls, let's say you put these balls on a snooker table, okay, and then you remove the snooker table. What happens? Or let's say we put a dip in the middle of the snooker table. No, 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 no. You answer my question now. You take, you t immediately remove whatever table they're standing on. What happens to the balls? Well, let's say we take a big ball and put no. It in the answer my question. Table. Answer my question now. You didn't answer what my happens question. when you? We're no. Still waiting for what, an answer for my I'm question. I'm asking. Okay, so here's the thing. Grenade had said that both of those balls are trying to go in a straight line towards the earth, and the trampoline is in the way. So my question to you is, if both of those balls are sitting on a table, and you remove the table immediately, what happens to those balls? Do they not go in a straight line directly towards the earth? Yes, they do. Thank you. Okay. So let's not affirm the consequence, and let's try and do an experiment to figure out if what you're saying is true. Okay? What I'm saying is true. <laughs> Okay, so let's try, it is get, true. let's try and get this question answered. Obviously, without realizing what's going on, you're not going to be able to move forward, right? So we've got the bowling ball in the middle of the fabric. We've got the tennis balls about on the, on the edge. Why do they roll towards the other ball? Is it because of an attraction or is it because of the bending of the it's fabric? Because it's, on a, it's because it's on a trampoline and the trampoline is conical towards the heavier object. What's That's the, why they go towards it. What's the cause? Of, <laughs> because, what's gra the, gravity, because they're being pulled towards the Earth, and it's creating a conical trampoline. That's why they're going towards the center of it. I know. Like but, this, this has already been explained to you, and you've seen it a thousand times in these videos. Yet you're you're trying to be this this sly, you know, flat Earth. Uh, I gotcha. Bullshit. Like you know the answer. Again, not answering the question. Avoiding, avoiding, avoiding. No, I'm not avoiding the question. How have I avoided the I, question? I answered this before, Schemo. I'm looking objects... for the cause to this question that I'm asking. So when the when the tennis great. ball rolls towards the bowling ball, what was the cause? What caused that? Gravity. Gravity is the cause. Okay, they're both trying to move towards the earth. The trampoline is in the way, so the bowling ball is taking the path of least resistance towards the Earth. Well, that's the thing we're trying to figure out, Grenade. We don't know if there's gravity yet until we have an experiment. Well, if you were to take away the trampoline, what would they do? It depends on the medium that it's in. No, it doesn't. Well, let's just absolutely, do the... Absolutely it doesn't. If they're in a uniform <laughs> medium, they'll, um, medium, they'll go directly towards the Earth. If we put Listen, those there, uh, if we put a ball on water, then what will happen? Up. Depends on how heavy Trans the ball is. So it depends on the rel the, uh, relative densities, right? Pulled towards the Earth is um, fallacious. There's no evidence for pulling force. Oh, changing the experiment. If the original experiment was done in air, do the experiment again <laughs> in air without the trampoline. We're trying, to, we're trying to figure out if there is grenade in the first place. Grenade, this is what they have to do because they can't do anything straightforward. They have to lie and they have to, to he has misrepresent. To a pairing just to just to you know continue his little bullshit. And he's love, the king of it. So, yeah, so, I, I'm 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 seeing that back. he's yeah he is the king of this. He knows I'm, exactly what. He, just fucking going through a little script he does it's and he yeah every day all the time and it's all just well, that's, that's why that's him. why that's why it's fun to get them off script because they don't know what to do especially when you talk about fluid head and things that they I, genuinely I do like, not understand i like the brick and the saran wrap that was really good that's that's a good one not too many people are aware of that one but there's all kinds of other scenarios where, where buoyancy doesn't work as an explanation Right. For... So another another one I like to talk about is okay. So do you understand, um, chemo? Let's say we're we're talking about a residential water distribution system. 
Do you do you understand how that how we're, how that works? Okay, so look, you've had your little conference. Let's get back to the. Point. No, 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 no. This is a question. Uh, we we've we've already talked about your fucking trampoline bullshit. Let's move on. Do you understand how a residential water distribution system works? Well, for me, it's very important we figure out if what you're telling me is based on faith or science. No, it's very important to me to move on because you keep trying to belabor this issue that we've already talked about in infinitum, and we can just let's just move on because what 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 we what we understand is not based on faith; it's based on experiment. Okay, that's what it's we're based. It's based on it's based talking. on data. Now we're talking. Where are those experiments? Dude, oh my gosh. They are recorded in people's papers that have been published that you will never read or understand. So why ask the question? Why would you believe those papers? Well, because most people on the planet are actually honest. Are you just it's based on faith? Yeah? No, no. I base it off historical fact that most people actually are honest yeah so you're saying you just have faith that these oh the time so true. no no here's the, here's the thing when somebody when somebody develops a, a paper and like you know like show us uh, the curvature like like cavendish and like like uh Grundleck and merkowitz they 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 wrote a paper a, a very long and detailed paper showing all of their data which ended up coinciding very very closely with, with what cavendish uh had found so if if you care to to you know actually look at the information, look at a Merkowitz and Grundlack. They they did a, a an experiment similar to but different enough from Cavendish to confirm his findings. I I guarantee you will not look at that paper because you don't care to because you don't want to know the truth because despite being a a, a self proclaimed truther which I assume you are you are only interested in confirming your bias like all flat earthers. So we we while you call it being a faith-based opinion or a faith-based position, what we do is we look at the data, we look at the 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 articles and we say, yes, this is this is consistent with what they're what they're reporting and and that's how we base our understanding. This this isn't a uh, this isn't a belief system. It's an understanding system, and when better understanding comes along, then we change our understanding. This is how science works. Period. It's the it's the same way we we have a concept of what reality is. If um, I'm standing here and somebody says something is red, and I ask a few other people and they're saying it's red, then I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that it's red until proven otherwise. And that's the same way uh, physics papers are done, is uh, a person performs an experiment, they, they write down all the information about their experiment, and then they pass it out to everybody, it's published, and then other people will try to do the experiment, and they publish their results. And if the results are similar, then you're starting to build up a consensus that maybe what these people are looking at is a real thing, okay? Now, if the second or third or fourth person that does the experiment starts seeing something different than the original person, then that starts changing the, cons the uh, consensus. The consensus starts leaning towards this, this other person as more and more experiments are done. If whichever, whichever one is, is the uh, predominant uh, result that seems to be happening, that becomes the consensus. So it's it's not that we believe the first person who writes a paper. It's it's after 20, 30, 40 papers are done, we start to go, oh, okay, so there's something happening here. There's something uniquely happening. And uh, all sorry. So we don't we don't just believe people just because they wrote it in one paper. Which is contrary to how Flat Earth works, where somebody creates a, a YouTube video and then everybody thinks it's true. Look, Dryston. Look, you know. look. I, I. Okay, so we've we've kind of we've kind of beaten this you whole. Never no, 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 let no, 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 no. Speak. I, I've let you speak. I've let you speak plenty, and you've demonstrated a, a horrible right, lack go, of understanding. Oh, no, 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 I say one or two words. So, so here's the thing. We've talked about we've talked about gravity. And you wonder why uh, you got killed at twenty four seven. 
I got kicked out of 24-7 because I talked about fluid dynamics. And I, I, this this question right here is what got me kicked out. Do it, Would you like to actually entertain me for just a moment? Yeah, once we get past if there's a force... We're past it. We are past it. Oh, no. No way. You have this belief that gravity... No. Is so, it's, okay, so so you don't want to respond to this next question because you know what I'm going to oh, ask. Shoot. Because you've already, you've already heard question. me ask it. Play your question. So you... You refuse. You're, no, you're going to refuse to ask, answer it. Well, how, if I know the answer, I can answer it. If I don't, I don't. What do you mean? You don't. You, okay, so do you understand how residential water systems work? No. Okay, do you, under, do you know what a water tower is? No. Okay. Um, what was the question that got you kicked out 24 7? It wasn't exactly just a question. It was this whole line of a whole well, line no, of no, uh, no, discussion. No, 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 no. Anything that so, you know, so, so a water. straw manning. A water, a straw, a straw manning. Upsala. This is a straw man. Okay, that's it funny. It doesn't matter. But the this, point is, I don't know any of that. You know man. it all. What's the it's question? It's not a straw man. Oh, we What's got we got another guy in here trying to chime in, calling me a straw manner. Oh my So gosh. so so if, uh, the water tower. No, I'm just water. I'm speculating that you're going to compare gas to a liquid, and you're going to use fluid dynamics to try and make some sort of an analogy about gas, correct? Well, I've already done that. And the funny thing is, is that gas is a and fluid. And that's the so, straw man. So fl- the, no, the, <laughs> no, it's not a straw man. You don't understand how physics works. Fine, <laughs> that's, fine. We don't that's understand. the funny thing. Look, can you just explain what you mean mm-hmm. and what the question was? So here's, here's the question. If, if you have, let's say, a water tower that's 231 feet tall the in or taller than that but the water level is 231 feet what is the water pressure at that max level of 231 feet and what is the water pressure at grade i don't know what is it what's the answer you don't know i don't know what's the answer well see that's interesting because the answer is it's atmospheric pressure at at the top because Water towers are vented, right? And at grade, the water pressure okay, is so, 100, okay. Where does the 100, pressure 100, 100, the water pressure is 114.7 uh, uh, PSI at grade because the water pressure is developed based on the height of the fluid. Okay, where are you talking about the water this, pressure in the, in the container or the atmospheric pressure? I'm talking about the water pressure in the, in the it's not a container because it's vented. It's a, <laughs> so why why does the water not spill out of the you vent? Walls of the container because for pressure. Why for does the pressure. water not spill out? Why does the water not spill out of the vent? Because it's the vent is at a lower pressure than the than the water. Why does it not spill out of the vent? Um, based on rel- how relative density works. Why would it? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you think it would? Why would it? But why but why wouldn't it? In a container. It's not in a container. It's vented. I mean, there's no container in a water tower. It's vented. It's not a container. Open container. It's vented. Correct. An open container. Right. So it's in a container. It's oh, it's vented. It's not. A, it's not an enclosed container. It's vented. Let me get this one. You're asking why the the cup of tea, the tea doesn't spill over. If I take my cup of tea up to a higher height, you're asking why doesn't it spill over? Pretty, pretty much, because if you're talking about relative densities, you would expect it would. It's Further, why, 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 why is there a higher pressure at grade than there is at the at the limits of the the water level? Why does that happen? Oh, this got him kicked out twenty four seven. Due to the is why due the... to the containment. <laughs> why? Uh, why? Kimo's already answered this. Okay, so it's it's vented to atmosphere, but. The, you think the fact that it's in a container, that's what makes it higher pressure? No. That's what you just the said. That it's, it's liter- the that's that literally it's the claim you just made. No, but it's, that's, it's, that's not, it's not totally contained, it's vented. It's an right. open container, and it's vented at the top, correct? Not at the bottom. It's and if it was correct. vented and if it was even open if, at even the if, bottom... Even if it was vented at water? the bottom, it would still have the same pressures. In- incorrect. Um, no, absolutely correct. If you vented the container at the bottom, that's called a bucket with a hole, and then yes, the water would be and it would, still, it would still have the same pressure at the bottom. Well, essentially... It would have a diminishing pressure as the water leaked out, so no, you're wrong. Uh, so, uh, 
<laughs> no, I'm right because you said it would have a diminishing pressure at the bottom. I am right, and you just you admitted said a constant. It. You said a constant. I didn't pressure. say a constant pressure. You I would say it would have the same, the same pressure, pressure at the bottom. That is not what it said. Is same and, and diminishing are those synonymous? Can I swap <laughs> same and diminishing? You just in admitted. The same you just admitted that I'm right. Thank you. If you put a pressure <laughs> at the bottom of the water tower and put a pressure gauge at the person's faucet in their house, um, assuming they have a pressure regulator in the front of their uh, the incoming of their house, but if you put a pressure gauge at both places. Would you read the same pressure just a moment before the person opens the valve? Once they open the valve, then it does change, right? No, it's still Absolutely. the same pressure. Once they open the valve, that's what he's saying. The pressure changes slightly. It changes slightly. Well, and like I said, this is a non sequitur right. when you're trying to compare this to gas. But regardless, we're still talking how about is, a How is this a non sequitur comparing it to gas? Uh, liquid. Does, liquid. Does fluid, liquid does, fluid dyn- gas. does fluid dynamics not apply to gases? Gases behave like a fluid. They are not fluids. Um, they actually <laughs> are fluids. Wrong, wrong. They, they actually they are fluid they are, dynamics. They are fluids. Kind of like wave-like. <laughs> I guess, I guess oh, is a question. I'm going to have to moderate if you don't oh, let float. Oh, this is finish. amazing. You don't understand yeah, fluid dynamics finish, at all. This though. is you can't fucking just, awesome. You can't have fundy me like you did to me. I was guest. Oh, man. Oh, this is... So, gases are, behave like fluids, but they're not gas fluids. Gas is not a liquid. Gas is yeah, not a gas is not a liquid. But, but a oh. gas is a fluid, and so is a, a liquid is a fluid. They're both fluids. They're different types of fluids, but they're both fluids. They behave. They can behave nope. like wrong. Fluid. Dresden, wrong. Let they're him both respond. fluids. They're both fluids. Dresden. No, he's he's wrong. Dresden. He has responded, and he's wrong. Yeah, but don't tell him he's wrong in the middle of, of his sentence. Let him finish. He's, he's saying the same thing over and over, and he's wrong again and again. But it's always making the mistake of equating fluids with liquids. They're not the same thing. Is he going to be allowed to speak, though, that or not? That was my point. That was exactly my point, that fluids and liquids are not the same. And describing a water tower, do you guys agree that that's a liquid? It's also a fluid. And what is a gas? Do you agree that it's a liquid? Yeah, it it, is, but, it's, but it's also but it's a, a fluid. But it's a fluid. Is a gas a fluid? A fluid property. Comparing a liquid to a gas, you think that that's consistent? <laughs> Fluid dynamics apply. Fluid, 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 fluid. fluid well, you dynamics. Agree that gases and fluids fluid are, are same, yeah? Fluid dynamics apply universally to fluids. That's inside why it's called containers. fluid dynamics. No, yes, that's not correct. Yeah. No, nope. it doesn't matter. It doesn't okay, matter. Fluid dynamics. Fluid without a fluid. container and show me these dynamics. So, so, so now you're backpedaling from what your assertion was previously. Incorrect. That's cool. No, no, good. You're not good to see. No, previ- previously he said that gas is not a fluid, and now he's changing his statement. Are, are you saying liquid water in a cup because the top of the cup is open? Liquids are a fluid. Gases are liquid fluids. Liquid are not a gas. And nobody has made that assertion. This was your straw man, and I understand. Nobody that. has I made that, that assertion that, that fluids were a gas or liquids were a gas. Nobody's yeah, made the assertion that liquids were a gas. Liquid to gas. Um, yes, you can because they're both fluids. Look, no one gets confused about hydraulic mechanisms. Hydraulic well, apparently you do. <laughs> That's like having an intermolecular bond. Can, can you say something to Dresden? The only Just... reason that you guys bring up these open yeah. vented containers that are not containers but are containing something is to Dresden. try and link it back towards gas. That's the only reason that you're talking about this. Fluid dynamics. It's it, you, fluid dynamics. It universally applies to fluids, does it not? Dresden. You, you may want to use a type of relation and not is a relation because is a is transitive and the type of is not transitive and it confuses them. So I would say that uh, uh, gas and liquid are type of fluids rather than are fluids. Just, you know, fair, maybe fair, it's fair, fair point. Well, no, that's a good it's point. That's a good point. Thank it, you. It would be less confusing for them. <clears throat> that's, that's a good that, point. Every everything confuses flat earthers. So well, you're right. That's for, a good point. Uh, the minimum confusion. So Dresden, don't confuse us. Very simple. Answer our <laughs> questions directly. It's, it's 
it's extremely difficult to stop confusing flat earthers, so yeah, you'll have well to then, forgive me. Well, then Yossi was able to um, get through to us, but you can't. Well, I, okay, you want to debate with him? No, we want to debate with you and your faith that you said that you have. It's the faith. Okay, you keep bringing that up. It's funny that the, I didn't all bring these up people. Faith. You said it's the funny word that faith. It's remember? funny. It's funny that all these people with with this extreme amount of faith try to degrade science understanding with the word faith. It's just hilarious. You said I have faith that it's these it's it's almost like you, it's almost like you admit that your beliefs are bullshit because you understand that it's all faith based. Well, Did you not say those words? Is it you though? Hey, uh, Desand or whatever. Isn't it you that is bringing up faith in his understanding? He didn't bring it up. <clears throat> he brought faith into this Dresden. He did. Faith, he said, I faith. have faith. Okay, if, I, I, all right. I don't, I don't, I don't recall <clears throat> not even close. Faith in the context of what I was talking about does not mean faith in the context of religiosity. Again, faith. it was it, it's you that is bringing this up and... Uh, don't don't make it out like Kimo's bringing this up and ask him to answer the questions. But it, no, this is disingenuous because he understands that what I meant by faith meant meant uh, it was an understanding based on consensus and and credibility and based on oh. on re repeated. No, it's not faith. I, I if if I said the word faith, that's my mistake. I apologize. Crucify me for it. It's not faith. It's 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 a it's a common understanding. Right, I just I just want to clear that up. No, that's fair, and and I appreciate the criticism. Um, but what it, what is truly meant by that is not f it's not a blind understanding based on nothing. It's it's an understanding based on scientific consensus through sets of data uh, in reports by multiple people. It's a scientific consensus. It's not faith. So when I say when I say quote I have faith in the other scientists. It just means that I trust their opinions and I trust well, that their data is concise. In, may in I ask you a question? Carry on, what, carry on. What do you actually have faith in? What do I have faith in? Are you, in what context? I mean, so context. He, he just told he just told his branch. He has faith in the in the, the views of the surveyors and scientists. I, faith in this context is synonymous with trust. Yes. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, yeah that's fine. That's fine. So who do you place your trust in? White coats. It's. I mean, th that's a very, very generic question and and very hard to answer. I I have many different things that I trust and things that I distrust. So, you know, I, I mean, what, what do you want to do? You want to talk I'm about? Not asking, do you, you want to talk about the vaccine? Do you want to talk about the? Yeah, like what do you, what do you mean? No, I don't think nobody wants to go on a tangent. Let's stick to the topic we're on. When when there's multiple uh, cohesive reports, that's what I tend to believe. Mm -hmm. So when when you consensus. have when you have there's when there's a consensus, that's what I tend to 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 place my understanding in and to place my you can call it faith if you want. That's yeah, what I tend so, to place my so faith in. You're mm -hmm. essentially saying that you're a sheep and you follow the hood. The, I mean. No, as long as the majority that's, says that's one not, thing, that's, that's not true. Like. No, that's as as long as I understand it and I believe the same. That's what that's what I follow. There, the 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 majority believes in God. I don't believe in God. The majority uh, today believes that. Um, not to get into the whole political climate, but the majority believes that COVID is this hilariously well, deadly about, disease. Uh, what about and that's the, not what I believe. Yeah, yeah, but I don't believe. Look at but, the globe. Faith Wait, let's, let's stay there a sec, Kima. He says that he doesn't believe the mainstream narrative in terms of a deadly strain that's coming. No, we, we, don't we don't talk about that. That's, that's for that's for the other channel. We don't need yeah, to yeah, get into that. But, but uh, I'm just I I'm trying to I'm saying. trying to establish the fact that I don't always follow the the quote mainstream because while while there may be a mainstream, there's not a consensus scientifically about its legitimacy. Certain things, while they might be considered mainstream, are not consensus among the scientific community. And real science should be skepticism. They should never be yes. consensus. They should always be that we but, could learn more or test more. I take this out. And yet, when we question 
the entire premise, science is built on that inquisitive mind and that um, skepticism. And when we apply that same skepticism, we consider science deniers when we're actually yeah, because you're, the true because scientific you're, method to be skeptical. Because you, you do it unreasonably. You, you do it unreasonably with things like you've just said, the true scientific method. This is yes. something. This is something that Quantum Eraser made up, and you, ju you guys you. just Thank you, and you guys no. and you guys Thank just you, believed. This is so, no, this is, is, uh, this, is entire, this is entirely what you, what what your whole point is, Flat and Chemo, is that I I believe what I want to believe. I believe what I want to believe, despite what the scientific consensus is. And if my feelings think that it's not what the scientific consensus is, I'm a pioneer because I'm a skeptic. Right. Oh no, not at all. I mean, again, that is absolutely what you believe. Oh, no, in no, fact, no, no, in no, fact, no, no, no. you you like I mean... you liken your experience to to Neo in the Matrix by taking the red pill. Oh, how no, much no, more? No, no. How much more of a savior complex do you need than that? I've, ne I've never give me I've a never break. Heard of I mean, there is a but time you've, for analyzing. You've just gone on about I'm not, consensus. That I'm once not, you get twenty I'm not saying papers, chemo specifically. I'm. Thing. You agree, and then now you said you don't agree with consensus. You just agree it with it. It depends on what it is, because certain things there is a scientific consensus, and certain things there isn't. What about like, the merit of the argument? <laughs> Why not the merit of the argument? Well, Why well consensus. Consensus is a measure of the merit of the argument to some extent, right? Bingo. Yes. Consensus essentially just means agreement. If a lot of people find that argument compelling, <laughs> you, the result is consensus. Right, it's about how many people agree and how many don't. That's what <clears throat> consensus is. Exactly. Okay, the real, like... real science being oh. done, they don't have consensus. There's always a scientist who disagrees. Well, yes. that's true. That's true. Yeah, now, that's, right? Where, it, where is that exact, not true? Exactly, but... But it, 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 we're talking about consensus, though. Like, one person disagreeing still means that there might be a consensus. It, it has no bearing on whether there's a consensus when there's one person that disagrees. So when, when you have somebody with, like, like Robot, you guys Robot, use Ro like Samuel Robotham, well, no. or whatever the fuck his I... name is, who disagrees, that's, that doesn't mean that there's not a consensus. That just means that there's one crackpot who but disagrees. Why, then, don't you go with the current right. consensus? I, that, that... I think it's the opposite to what Zola said. I think you guys reject something because there is a consensus that agrees with it. Bingo. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether that thing is well supported by evidence, logical and reasonable. You reject it because it's from the mainstream, and lots of people there's, are saying it's true. There's it's also sort of interesting. It's also interesting that Solar brings up the point about the merit of the argument, whereas this is the very thing that the flat earthers don't um, uh, look at. They don't look at the merit of the argument at all. Right. Thank you. Exactly. Well, your current science, you don't even agree with your own science that Einstein is current gravity. Still... Oh my gosh, we got, are we going to keep talking about this shit? We've put this to bed already. Enough with the Einstein versus no, Newton No, but there's no Newton consensus there. There's no What's consensus. What's the consensus? There is, there is a consensus. There, there is a consensus. You just don't understand the consensus. Einstein. That's no, not consensus. The, no, right, you, hold on, hold on. Let's let, that you don't hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. So, say, say that again, because you he was talked all over. Go ahead, Sailor. My apologies. Thanks, Jim. Um, no, I was just saying, if there's two versions, and one was Newtonian and one now is Einsteinian, that does not imply consensus as much as you guys want to find a way to link that and then get off the topic because... This is exactly the application of what Kima was talking about, is that science is always in a state of evolution. And when science discovers something new, they update what was previously maybe not 100% accurate, but yet people who claim the consensus rules, they assume that everything is 100% in consensus always. I don't uh, think they that's... do. I, think, I don't think that's true. <laughs> and Jim, I think you, you know, your point about us avoiding the consensus, I, I'll actually agree with that to a degree. When I, it's the same like with marketing material. If, if someone hands me a brochure and it tells me how I'm going to benefit from their product, I am skeptical of it because it came from them. And then I go and I look at alternative sources to see if there's corroboration on what they're stating. 
most times in marketing material, it's not accurate. Yeah, so but yeah, I don't think I don't think that's trust. I don't think you're doing that though, are you? Because in in marketing material, that as you say, you know that that is from them. The people who are who are set to gain from that. Are the people who are who are telling you that story, if you like? Correct. About it. So, but, so the same. But you cannot. You can't say that. Present lockdown. You, you can't know, say fourteen days. Let me finish. Let curve. me finish. You can't say that about science because that isn't just one company that it comes from. It comes from all over the place. So you can't. Only you can't just mind. say you can't. Well, if, if you have the big pharma you, companies. There, but we're not talking of... about big pharma, are we? Let's not make this about masks and vaccines, okay? We're talking okay, about so flat. We're talking about flat earth, and like I say, you cannot point at the entire scientific establishment and call it and, and uh, 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 look at it as if it's a single company that has a single uh, a single goal because yeah, it just and, doesn't. And that's why they have to label every person who is promoting the, quote, globe Earth model as a shill. Because if you don't have somebody to blame it on and you don't have somebody to, to be the all-encompassing evil, there's, there's, no, there's no excuse. Because now you have just a bunch of independent people making this isn't, argument. Isn't that what Flav's about, though, as a, as a good and an evil? And, like, regardless of what's right that's, wrong. That's what they think it is, though. And it's not what it is. Like, it's just a, a hilariously misguided belief. Okay. So, Sola, do you have any evidence that they are just one organization? No, I think it's a fair point that you've made. I don't think that okay. they have a single mouthpiece that speaks on behalf of all sides. Um, but, you know, if we, if we look at that, that topic that we're not allowed to speak about, the people who are selling the masks are saying the masks work. The people who are well, the we don't we don't need to get into the works. COVID thing. Hey, there's a different I'm channel for the COVID talk. I'm not going to say anything. Well, you are currently happen. saying something. It's no good saying I'm not going to say anything while you're saying it. A mask. Just, is that, just, is that something that'll topic, get a channel though. shut down? I just don't want to do that subject, mate. It's sort of relevant, but it's not here. The various different elements that are all trying to target this one thing each in their own isolation believe that they're doing something beneficial. But across the broader scheme, when you look across all the information, yes, masks are there to protect the others and not yourself, and et cetera, et cetera. So there is... So what? So that doesn't, make, that doesn't make them not doesn't useful. Make a single mouthpiece. There's not a single mouthpiece coming forward and saying every single one of these preventative measures I speak for on behalf of the entire group. No one's doing that. But well, it's, 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 why would that be? That, that seems to be what a lot of flat earthers do is. But that seems to be what a lot of flat earthers do is like it, it's it's I don't trust X, therefore I don't trust everything. We're asking I don't, why I don't do you trust, trust a these, through uh, these institutions? Why do you trust NASA? NASA have given you no reason to I trust. Don't, because I they don't, have. I don't because trust. They have a they have a track record of producing reputable, useful, reliable data. From that day one, good. they've been questioned. Accurate. People have been telling their saying that they're they're a false institute from day one. From the beginning of their inception, they yeah, have well, people have said that, but that nobody has established that, have they? That this is what we hear every day, isn't it? And, if, oh, and NASA, was out hang back on, then. hang on, still talking. NASA have been caught out so many times. We've got them. We've got. We, we see harnesses and wires. They've been, they've been caught lying. Uh, but the problem is, none of that is true, is it? Nobody's ever been caught. Nobody's lost their job at NASA. Nobody's been to charge with fraud or taken to court or gone to prison. No, none of this stuff you, about about NASA scientists being, have been killed nearly the there, nearly years. there, <laughs> nearly there. None of this stuff about NASA being unreliable or not trustworthy has been established to be true. Yeah, again, how many scientists have been, been uh, killed in the last 10, 20 years? You don't talk about those. How many years? Right? How many scientists have been killed? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Suspicious how many? Suspicious deaths. 
Okay, how many scientists have died with in suspicious <laughs> I, circumstances? Well, these these, these in statistics the last are years. probably very suspicious either way. I mean, but, oh, let's see. Let's see this. I'd love to hear it too. It, well, he won't have any, will he? Let's hear them, Chemo. Do you have any? Um, so it says another uh, seventy-four scientists dead in two years. Where? Where? Where's the citation? Okay, okay. Which, citation. Which, which, no. Which scientists? What, Let's what, see. What, what, were, what was their work in? Yeah. Uh, let's get it. Hold on. All 74. You watch, they were probably in uh, demolition or construction. 74 is not Compare a that to the uh, number of si um, accountants no, that have no, died suspiciously, no, or the, no, the no, number no, of uh, right. shop assistants that have died suspiciously? No, natural. No, let's, get some, let's get some data on the number of uh, Instacart shoppers. Instead of dad suspiciously too. Oh, you know what? But, I, but, uh, why, why should I? Why should I provide you with that, Dresden? We're just talking. You just have to believe that. Why do you need to see any data on that? Oh, dude, are you being serious right now? Well, I'm asking you why so, you need to see data. According no, to honestly, you, honestly, honestly, for data and everything. Can, here's can the I link anyway. One thing. But uh, the point is, I shouldn't have to be able to do this because, according to you, we can just we can just believe. Chemo, 74 one NASA Chemo? scientists died in recent years, no natural causes. Yeah, they can't come out because when they are about to come out, they get uh, mysteriously uh, taken out. Okay. All right. Well, we have we actually had just yesterday. So that's the uh, hold on, Brent. Hold on, hold on, Brent. So you can see. Uh, you oh, well, hold on. What what's the source of this data, though? Well, Since. This, this is a totally legitimate site. Look at it. Because the, this is from <laughs> Nibiru Planet X. The person who's written <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, it's all yeah. over the internet. But it goes, should oh, we believe, good God, should we believe Nibiru Planet X? <laughs> well, you can find <laughs> out which scientists have died and how they Yeah, died. let's see. Let's see. Uh, medical and NASA scientists. Oh, medical and NASA scientists. So not just uh, NASA scientists. Yeah, cancer, AIDS, Ebola, World Health Organization. Kimo, I hope you let me talk in a second, though. Here's another oh, one on oh, Reddit. Some real shit to talk about, bro. Oh man, this is this has gotten wild. I'm I'm gonna have to go in about a half hour just to let everybody know. Yeah. Ahead of time. Okay. Okay. So so here's the deal, right? Yesterday we had Richard Branson go up in space, right? And allegedly, no, no, Alleg moments, allegedly. Okay, moments after he went to space, what did he do? He sold his stock. We already talked about this. All right. Why would somebody do that? To drive up the price of his stock. No. We already talked about this. It's not that. It's not that. All right, so he saw, I'm just... he saw something. <laughs> uh, that, that's a, a wild allegation. I, I mean, know, fucking around. Hang on, hang on, Dresden. That citation from Kimo is the frick. It only it only names about half a dozen people who have died with unknown causes. So we've got it a the other seventy. There's seventy four of them. One of them, Doctor Doctor Anne Swareski, uh, uh, died unexpectedly in her sleep at her home in West Hampstead. Five days before her 54th birthday, an inquest later found that she had died of acute hemorrhagic pancreatitis. Oh, well, yeah, I'm sure they did. Do you, know well, you have any, there, do you you have any specific reason to... Well, well I, I okay, blood pressure. but now you're throwing a coroner in. This, this would have had to... A coroner would have had to have determined this cause of death. So now you've got a coroner in on oh, the act as well. Obviously a NASA shell. Point is necessary, and, the, and this is a, this is for a cervical cancer expert. Doesn't matter; they can way. all come forward. They're all part of NASA. They've all been killed. How can they've they all come seen forward? something. They've heard something. They've seen something. They don't have to be an engineer. They can all got to be part of NASA. Yes, you can people be the have died, Chemo. People die. That's what happens. Seventy-four. To mysterious it's absolutely. Deaths. Yeah, one hundred percent of human beings die at some point. Well, I'm just pointing out you were saying no one's so coming the forward. Fact that, the fact that you can point to some that that have died yeah, is not mysterious deaths. I don't know, it's man. It's not mysterious, man. is it? Well, man you make, said no one's coming use. forward, and I'm pointing out man. no one can come forward because you will die mysteriously. Man well, makes no reason to believe mysterious that. causes, and my my assumption is that he saw that the Earth is a sphere. And that the flat earthers had him killed. So that, that's, that's what I think. There you go. So that's the point. 74 if, if, we, if, we want, if we want to get into these crazy conspiracy theories, we can do forward. it too. 
Why did they want to eliminate a cervical cancer expert? It doesn't matter what the field. They are very close to the truth. <laughs> Okay, so how did a cervical <laughs> cancer expert get close then why, to the Then truth? why haven't you all been killed? They'll have friends, just like uh, Veach is in why, Hollywood. Why haven't all connections. of you flat earthers been assassinated? Because you all know so the for truth. Example, if Veach has if a friend can kill, who works if they can here kill at a market or something like that, he was, selling Dude, food, they, he was selling food to NASA, and he died. That's because kill, he, knows v, he knows Veach, and bro, Veach knows him. And that's how it goes bro. on. So you don't have to be directly bro. working in the though. company. If someone annoys me, though, how, how you guys sometimes all jump on a bandwagon. Like, you know, I tried to bring up the whole Branson thing, and you guys were like, all right, well, he did it to drive up his stock price. Do you understand that that is not...